Time to go. My name's Harry, wealthy, successful businessman. At age 12, I created my own startup company that became what is now an international success. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo, but why would I want to buy lemonade when it's 20 degrees out? It's quite simple, really. Six years ago, I began growing lemon trees under heat lamps in my basement. Lemons have to be transported thousands of miles, which causes bruising and loss of flavor. But when they come from my basement, they're the freshest lemons you'll ever taste. Plus, you're investing in me, a bright future for America. Pretty much, I was destined for greatness. Ever since I was aware of my talent, I put it to use. And here I am today, a busy man of prosperity. Not just that though, I've also grown to become a great man with values. Money? I got it. Where does most of it go to? Charities. You see, I donate. A lot. There's this guy on the corner of Monroe Street too, as I make my daily stop at the Crescendo. He's there almost every day, and when I see him, I pop a quarter into his cup. I care about the people. I care about the betterment of society. I believe I was raised to make a difference, to contribute, and to make the world a better place. <laughs> I have my life together. I got it all figured out. But just recently, something weird has been happening. That homeless man on the streets, I think he's up to something. Now, every time I head off for the rest of the day, Mr. Pedostash has been keeping an eye on me. Hell, I think he's following me. I'm thinking, sir. I already gave you a portion of my fortune every morning I see you. What more could you possibly want from me? He doesn't want to do anything bad to me, does he? Nah, he wouldn't. I'm one of the few positive contributors in his pitiful life. Because of his strange actions, though, I've tried to avoid him now and try to lay low. Huh. Looks like I got him this time around. What's up, man? How you doing? Mm. You know what? But I think I'm fine. Get it done after my you know what really upsets me? When people don't respect my space. What makes you think you can put your rat poop covered hands all over me? Relax, man. I'm no, just... you look here. Don't you think I help you guys out enough? I fill your cup up every day. I'm a good guy. Now just let me read my newspaper okay. in peace. You know what? I'm heading out anyways. I thought you seemed like a cool guy. Oh, shit. I messed up. He was never mean to me or anything. What's wrong with me? The dude already has it rough. Oh, hell. Get up. What? Look, I didn't mean any of those words towards you. Let me buy you a coffee. Uh, I don't know. I think I might have found some rat poop on Would here. Would you just take the deal before I change my mind? As it turns out, I didn't have it all figured out. The two of us, even though remarkably different, had stuff to actually talk about. He's just as interested as I am in the current states of US politics, and he follows the stock market vigorously. Just like me. A bad investment's actually what put him on the streets. Anyways, we went on and on and on, and to be honest, he's actually not too shabby. Oh, and his name's John, by the way. I guess I have to be more accepting as a person. John's a great man, and. I could have missed out on an opportunity to get to know him. It's not only about success and money. If I really want to be a great person, I have to treat others with respect. Now I have it all figured out. Oh, oh my I'm god, so I'm sorry. so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here, let me help you. Thank you so much. Maybe not. <laughs>